So apparently there was another PlayStation showcase slash state of play thing that happened yesterday. Actually, there was a bunch of gaming news that dropped on the internet and a lot of it made me really excited, but the thing that stood out to me the most is yet another Spider-Man 2 trailer video thing. As always, welcome back for some more good vibes in video games. Can I get some hands in the comment section if any of you guys are also a part of the gang that just catches up on all of the highlights and recaps like the day after? Hey, I'm someone who just likes the TLDR, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna be jumping in and checking out the new Marvel Spider-Man 2 Expanded Marvel's New York trailer thing. I'm not really sure exactly what this is, but it looks really exciting. And if you guys don't know me, my name is Miranda. I love Spider-Man. He is my favorite superhero of all time. Venom is also my favorite villain, anti-hero thing in the Spider-Man universe. As you can see, my PlayStation 5 in the back is already dressed for success. I also got the control- I'm just gonna go grab it. I pretty much just like to hold this bad boy whenever I get the opportunity, okay? But anyway, if it wasn't obvious or self-explanatory, I'm very excited for Spider-Man 2 to come out. I played the first Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales actually all this year, so you can check out those playthroughs if you want to. You don't have to. I just really like video games and I love to share my playthrough of them on the internet. Anyway, y'all are here to check out this trailer video thing with me and I'm here to react to it. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to this video. Thank you guys so much for being here as always. I really appreciate just meeting new people in the gaming industry and just getting hyped about games that we're excited for together. All right, guys, let's jump in. This is Brian Intahar, Senior Creative Director at Insomniac Games. Thank you for all of your amazing feedback to our demo at the showcase earlier this year. Marvel Spider-Man 2 is filled with an amazing story and story missions. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving and how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation 5. Yes! The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of two iconic New York boroughs, Queens yes. and Brooklyn. Thank you. And we've introduced the web wings, an entirely new mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever before. Whether it's a neighborhood backdrop of Queens or the fireworks that light up the sky over Coney Island, exploring these areas will feel much different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan, while also delivering memorable locales like Peter Parker's old stomping grounds in Midtown High and Miles Morales' current place of learning, Broken Visions Academy. Hey Miles, what's up? Speaking of our heroes, Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. And oh my thanks God. to the power of PlayStation 5, <laughs> you can make that switch almost instantly. Delivering that is so City cool. is not one, but two spider heroes were big goals for Marvel Spider-Man 2. But this time around, it was equally important to provide a greater sense of exploration <sighs> and discovery. As you progress through the main story, a number of new activities and stories- I love that finisher, more. that was so the funny. The majority of those will now be represented by visual cues in the world that grab your attention such as a flock of Craven's Talon drones circling a building, a mysterious symbol projected into the sky, um, or even an um ex Excuse me? Mysterious? Symbol Mysterio symbol by chance? Um, I know I said like Venom is one of my favorite characters in the Spider-Man universe, and that's so true. Followed so closely by Mysterio, guys. I'm sorry, I have to gush about this for a second. So one of my favorite games of all time, like literally, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Life-changing, game-changing for me was Spider-Man 2 from PlayStation 2 era. I played through that game so many times. I remember how revolutionary the web swinging was in that game. One of my favorite boss fights, actually probably the most memorable boss fight from that game was when you fought Mysterio and he turned into the Statue of Liberty and you had to go like swing around him and then shoot these little balls of light on him and then you could go whack him in the face and stuff and it was so great punching him in the fishbowl head. Oh my God. That game still lives in my head rent free. It is it is a part of my childhood along with the PlayStation 1 Amazing Spider-Man. If he shows up in this game, if we get to see him, I personally will 
lose my mind. When it comes to gaming though, it doesn't take much for that to happen because they're just so fun and they get me so excited. But the way he said that though was a dead giveaway. Mysterious symbol in the sky. Uh-huh. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, let's let's keep going. This, ooh. I'm familiar spider bot ping emitting from one of the rooftops. Many activities, like the hunter's cloaked blinds that overlook the Big Apple, lead to even greater challenges yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's greatest hunter, Kraven. Others will lead to a climactic showdown with Marvel villains not yet seen in this Spider-Man universe. The spider heroes have new AR tech in the lenses of their masks, providing a quick glimpse of activities already discovered or helping locate new ones yet to be revealed. What a you great change. To the upgraded friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app to quickly track nearby Loved that, loved that feature from Miles Morales. Request from those who call Marvel's New York home. Some will ask for either spider hero to help, while others, like the students of Brooklyn Visions calling upon Miles, will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities, including crimes you stop from the game's various enemy factions, also now feed into the new district progress system, which even provides more rewards and unlocks our brand new fast travel system. Oh my here, god, how fluid! It means you can move across the city with no loading screen. Downtime. Finally, the more city you explore and the more activities you complete, the more ways you'll be able to customize your spider hero. This includes mastering additional combat abilities and traversal skills, acquiring and proving gadgets, upgrading through the new suit tech system, and of course, unlocking additional spider suits. Oh my god, dude, you need to slow down. Lots of suits. You need to slow down. Two will feature over 65 suits from the comics, movies, and multiple original designs. And thanks to the all new suit style system, you'll now have more than 200 different ways to outfit your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Information overload, sensory overload. Games, we couldn't be more excited about what this expanded city has to offer and all the new ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. We look forward to seeing you swinging around in Marvel Spider-Man 2 when it launches October 20th, only on PlayStation 5. I... My brain hurts. Excuse me, what? You're gonna need to run all of that by me at least five more times. I think I maybe picked up on 13% of that. There was so much information jammed into four minutes. I don't think I've ever experienced anything like that in a trailer. There were so many amazing features that they added, that they changed. I literally cannot believe how the fast traveling is going to work for this. It was seamless. It seems like they were really going for zero loading screens. I loved how you looked at the whole map and then you could click where you wanted to go and then it just zoomed in there. It just, oh, it was, it was like magic. Please, 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 pretty, 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 please tell me, please tell me we're gonna see Mysterio in this game. I mean, it, it's already, a huge bonus that we get to see Venom, but the fact that I get to see two of my favorite Spider-Man characters in the same bloody game, I'm gonna lose it. Also, fun fact, I don't know who Craven is. I've never seen him like depicted in any sort of like media beyond, I'm sure he's in a comic book, but I haven't read too many comic books. So going into this, I'm actually very excited to have something brand new about the Spider-Man universe that I know absolutely nothing about. Did you guys also happen to pick up on all the different freaking suits that we're gonna have in this game? I'm gonna collect them all. Another thing that was extremely noteworthy for me was the fact that I mean, yes, we know, we, we've kind of known this for a while that we're gonna be able to switch between the two characters at will, but I love the way that they've clearly played up that feature. Being able to play as both Spi Peter Parker, well, they're both Spider-Men, Peter Parker and Miles Morales is going to be so huge for keeping us engaged. Also, I'm so happy that they're giving us more areas of New York to go explore like Brooklyn, Queens, Coney Island. Did you see Coney Island, y'all? I'm a sucker for an amusement park, but <laughs> oh man. I just think that for this game specifically, it's going to be so hard to get bored. There's always gonna be stuff to do. I love that you're gonna be able to take on certain quests and certain missions as Peter and just Peter or Miles or have both of them come together and then solve crime. I mean, 
it, the perfect tag team. This is definitely one of my most highly anticipated games for this year. And normally, as it gets closer and closer to the launch date of any game, I tend to avoid certain trailers and just more information about the game. Number one, just sometimes I get so overwhelmed with everything coming out, all of the talk. And I like to avoid spoilers as much as I can because I like to keep it fun and fresh for myself going into it. But I'm really glad I checked out this trailer and I'm probably going to watch it like six more times because there's definitely things that... Ooh, my eye just went right over my head. I feel like watching parts of this trailer was like listening to one of the parents in the Charlie Brown movies. Wah, 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 wah. I'm just looking at all the pretty colors and the lights and Coney Island. And Venom, of course. We cannot forget Venom. Ah, guys, I'm so hyped for this game. It's going to be so good. <laughs> I haven't even used this controller yet because I refuse to until the proper moment. Anyway, guys, you know I'm going to be playing this game day one here on the channel. It's something that I can't miss. It's definitely something that I want to share with all of you guys. If you guys are playing it yourself and you want to avoid as many spoilers as possible, I totally get it. I'm probably going to be the same way, but I will definitely be uploading my playthrough as I'm going through the game. What a great year to be a gamer. This year just, it just doesn't end. It just, it ain't stopping. Anyway, I'm gonna hop off right now. I'm gonna end this video and I'm gonna edit it as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching this trailer. I really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to it. Sorry if there were things that I didn't pick up on. It's very plausible that that happened because my brain, you could kind of compare it to like a bowl of spaghetti right now. It's just going in all different directions. It's just one giant mess. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, if you're looking forward to my playthrough of Spider-Man 2, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button to get notified when I start uploading those videos. All right, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.